Hello, my name is Michelle and welcome back to my classroom. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. In this video, this video is going to be a little bit different than any other video I've posted here on YouTube. Um, usually I will gather my thoughts and get an idea of what I want to say, how I want to say it, and in what sequence. But today I want to speak authentically and speak in my emotions. Um, I want to, the purpose of my uh, channel here on YouTube is to document my journey. So I want to be as authentic as I possibly can with my subscribers so that you can see uh, my uh, journey and what happens all throughout the good, the bad, and the ugly. So today I want to discuss my first bad review uh, since I've started this journey in July 2019. Um, as I've said in many videos, I do most of my teaching with Education First. I also have an open contract with VIP Kid, and I recently added Zebra English to my schedule. I started teaching with Zebra English on April the 13th. I taught my first class, and I've taught 10 classes thus far. I've received my first bad review uh, from a parent uh, with Zebra English. It was a four-star review, which uh, indicates that you need improvement. And in the comments, uh, the parent stated that um, single form. I'm not sure what single form means. I looked in a lot of the different ESL groups on Facebook uh, just to see if anyone knows or anyone's familiar with that term. Um, I don't know what that means, but uh, it was just a four-star review and the need improvements that kind of sat with me. Um, so this uh, review happened with my very first class of that morning. It was my 4 a.m. class, and I had six other classes to teach. So it kind of set the tone for me for that day. Um, it was something very new to me. I hadn't gotten a four-star review with any of the companies that I've worked for um, thus far. So I really um, didn't know how to uh, digest uh, that review. Um, I realized that you can't please everyone, um, but I started to question myself and my ability to be effective at ESL teaching. Um, I actually questioned whether I wanted to continue to do this because I teach from my heart and I teach uh, with a passion because I love what I do. So every child that I encounter, I try to give that child my all. And this was no different on that day. Um, so it kind of bothered me. It really bothered me that it, did, it wasn't perceived that way. Um, so I then had to associate it with this is a new platform. I've never taught um, with a curriculum where they are all game-centered lessons. So I tried to give myself a little bit of slack in that sense. But um, nonetheless, it was just, um, it wasn't a good feeling to receive a four-star review. Um, then I had to consider my reality, which is I've been teaching since 2019, July of 2019. I've never gotten a four-star review from Google Kit, VIP Kit, or Education First. Um, all of my reviews have been five star. Um, I've already taught uh, almost 1,000 classes with Education First, and I have 50 regular students. So um, I did stay in that place of um, not knowing how to feel, that place of questioning, but I then had to transition my thoughts over to my reality, which is um, I think I've done well thus far, and my numbers uh, kind of prove that I have. So um, I wanted to make this video just to encourage anyone that's on their ESL journey and if you have faced a rejection of any kind, whether it's rejection in the application process with the company or you received a, a four-star review just like I have, I just wanted to make this video to encourage you to um, continue your journey. Um, we have to realize we can't please everyone all the time. Uh, in this journey, we need to constantly be willing to learn. Uh, there's always room for improvement. Um, I do believe that I do well, but I want to do great. So I just wanted to make this video to share with you um, my uh, bad review and to let you know how I dealt with it and how I uh, allowed myself to move past those feelings of questioning uh, my potential. So thank you so much for watching this video. I do hope that you found this video to be helpful. If so, please give me a like and I'll see you in my next video. Happy teaching.